What up, people? This is your Trey, and today I want to talk about consciousness. What is it? What is it? It's not. What can we do with it? Let's talk about it. I want to thank everybody who's watching my videos. You seem to be causing some type of banter, some type of conversation, and that's what I love. I love conversation. Whether you agree with me or not, it's good if you're talking, and that's the whole point. Now, today I want to talk about consciousness because consciousness came up as a um, uh, one of my commenters was talking about it, and because I am a pandeist, consciousness to me is God. The ability to have consciousness, to be aware of consciousness, is the epitome of what God is. So, uh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about consciousness. Now, there's three types of consciousness. There's consciousness, the, what we have right now, um, being able to think, think out loud to ourselves and saying, this is what I want, this is what I don't want. What did you just say to me? That's consciousness, it's just being aware of things. Then there's subconsciousness. The subconsciousness is the consciousness that is always awake even when we're not aware of it. Subconscious will be listening and recording uh, the subconscious remembers things when we were a kid. Uh, when you're sleeping and you have the TV on and those commercials are playing, that's why I say do not fall asleep with the TV on because your subconscious is continually recording. Um, our consciousness, if the consciousness is the masculine energy of ourselves, then the subconscious is the feminine. The subconscious is very passive. It receives information constantly. When when hypnotists want to hypnotize you, they are going to speak into your subconscious side of your mind because the conscious mind is like the guard. The conscious mind is like guarding stuff. It's like, what, what, am, I, what am I listening to? What am I listening to? The subconscious just receives it, receives everything. So you really have to guard yourself on what you allow into your subconscious mind. And that's really hard because the subconscious mind never stops recording. Even when you're sleeping and you're dreaming about stuff, it's the subconscious mind that is reminding you things, that is trying to tell you something through symbols and sound and pictures because the subconscious mind is not going to tell you in words. Uh, it will sometimes, but mainly it's going to tell you by processing the information that you've seen throughout the day. It's going to uh, give you a message from the collective consciousness through the experiences that you have. Now, what is the collective unconsciousness? The collective unconsciousness is basically the program that everything goes by. You unconsciously breathe. You don't think, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Oh, I forgot to breathe. You don't do that. You have an unconscious ability to survive. And that is what everything does. Everything does in nature unconsciously does it. It's a, it's a program and this is what I'm talking about. That is what the epitome of what God is. A God is the collective unconsciousness of the universe, of us, of nature. Things do things just because they want. Not because they want to live, it's just survival and living is the main program. Your heart unconsciously beats. Your brain activity makes that heart beat unconsciously without you thinking about it. There's a lot of things you have to think about to do. You have to consciously eat. We don't unconsciously eat. That would be kind of scary if we did. Some people probably do in their sleep if they're sleep eating or whatever. But we have to consciously feed our bodies. We have to consciously eat. But we unconsciously breathe. We unconsciously shit. Even though we have to consciously control it. And we learn to consciously control it. But if you hold it too long, it'll just come on out. <laughs> so there are a lot of unconscious programs in our own body that we just don't have to think about because the body will do things on its own. Uh, that is the same thing with nature. A lot of things in nature just happen unconsciously. Uh, a lot of creatures and a lot of animals work on an unconscious level because they need to survive. And I had made mention to one of my commenters that bugs typically work on some kind of unconscious level of survival. Does that make them any less conscious than us? Does that make us more important? 
not necessarily because if like I said if I said if the the source of all if what I consider God works on an unconscious level of programming then they are on the level of the the all-knowing so we go from the divine the source the unconscious collective into a conscious way of living of making choices and decisions human beings are the conscious expression of what God is there is no other being that willfully desires or willfully makes choices to make changes out of the normal consciousness of the universe there's no other creature that says uh, hey you know what I think I'm gonna change my job you know butterflies don't say hey you know what I don't think I want to pollinate this flower or you know I don't want to flutter around I want to do something else humans pretty much are the only creatures right now that we're aware of that we're consciously aware of um, if there are other beings out there they have not consciously made themselves aware to us maybe they are more conscious that is to me what consciousness is God is consciousness it is the collective consciousness of all um, but more so why is it that you know when people why do bad things happen and stuff like that why do people get raped it's a program God is more so a, a, an unconscious program that does the same thing every day which is survival and so God in an unconscious way will fight to survive most creatures fight to survive if I started choking my dog my dog would bite the shit out of me because unconsciously my dog has a will to survive creatures want to survive if you try to step on a bug it's gonna run we can't we can't connect to God in our conscious mind we have to connect to God in a unconscious subconscious way because we have to go backwards trying to connect to God in your conscious mind you're always gonna fail you're always gonna fail the conscious mind is the the um, left brain masculine mind you have to kind of connect with all of yourself you have to get into the subconscious mind which is your feminine side and connect with that which is asleep inside of you that's the divine Tell me what you think about that in your two cents, because if you don't do it, then who will? Talk to you guys later.